talking about forgiveness. Mm -hmm. uh, t what about Caitlin Smith, the, the mother of the Denver Broncos wide receiver, Demarius uh, Thomas, was one of the 46 drug offenders to have their sentence commuted by President Obama on Monday, according to the Denver Post. What do you think of that? I mean, we're talking about uh, uh, forgiveness and, not, and, and, and where there is no room for forgiveness, especially uh, on DUIs, and the whole world has taken that approach that, you know, if you drink and drive, you're an asshole, right? Yep, and rightfully so. And, and, and rightfully so. And uh, uh, so, so what, what do you think about this, about uh, Barack Obama being involved in stuff like this? Should he be involved? Is it warranted? Or is it a, 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 pol a political patronage that is disgusting? You know, it's a really, really weird situation. I mean, I, I've never heard of anything like that, that a president of the United States yeah, I, we don't be involved in that. We don't hear about this kind of stuff here in Canada. I mean, the, the Demarius Thomas situation is well, it's been well covered. Uh, I think a lot of people know about his family, his grandmother, um, his mother. I mean, 1999, it wasn't just doing drugs. It was narcotics trafficking, and this is what... Thomas was she should have never been. Uh, she should never, no, ever been and forgiven. Thomas was 11 years old when this was going on, and it's crazy. I guess the White House actually issued a press release explaining the action. Um, they said that federal sentencing practices can, in too many instances, lead to nonviolent drug offenders to spend decades, if not life, in prison. And I guess they're they feel like because this was not a violent crime, doesn't matter. I, I, no, I. I That's who you know. Bullshit. It's really weird. I mean, so now you're going to let them go because this wasn't violence, and now a letter to the, the 416, or sorry, 446 people who were sentenced, he's now commuted. He wrote a letter for all of them saying that he's granting the application for their release, and I, I, I'm i really, really shocked. I, I really am. Shocked? I, I, I'm beyond shocked. I think it's bullshit. I, I, I think it's political patronage, and who knows which lobbyist got that done. Right. Right. This is a this is a really strange story. Well, I, I think I think it's, I, I don't think that, I, I think Obama has bigger and better things to do than to. Well, I think Obama you know, just blew his credibility right down the toilet on this. What's that? I think uh, Barack Obama, in my personal view, yep. blew his. I, I think he blew his credibility. And, and what he tried to do when he was getting elected, right down the toilet. Right. Well, listen, this is his last term, right? He's not going to be reelected. So, you know, he doesn't have to worry about doing things to try and gather votes or gather uh, population.